Hey folks, Captain Mark Johnson here, aka Hollywood from FloridaKeysFunFishing.com. I'm here with the boys from Salt Strong, and today we're going to do a little quick excerpt on how the proper way to use a popping cork. Because we're catching big bull reds down in Louisiana and other parts of Florida, we use popping corks for so many different things. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to maximize your popping cork fishing? Okay, here we go. So, first things first, when you make your cast with your popping cork, you try to cast it gently, not a big, super hard helicopter spin. The less revolutions it makes while it's flying, less chance it's going to get tangled. So basically an easy lob, Woo! you got one revolution all the way around, your cork's now wet. So no matter how far you throw it, the routine's the same. You want to wind your line tight to your cork. You want your rod always pointed at your cork. You never want to fish your rod 90 degrees to your cork or farther away because braided line has a tendency, because it has no memory, to wrap around your rod tip and cause tangle. So you want your reel your line tight to your cork, rod tips pointed down, and then when you break this wrist, it's abrupt. See how that cork pops? That's magic. All right, but the trick, winding the slack. You have to wind the slack, keep your rod pointed at your cork, Rod tip is down. It's never up high. See what happened? When you go up high, you pull your cork out of the water. When your cork is far away and you're popping it down, that's magic. Rod tip down, winding your slack. The minute you go up, you pull the cork away. Completely changes the dynamic of what that cork does. You find people that get away, again, the 90 degree rule, your line and your rod tip, and you get here trying to pop, and you come back forward, the line wraps around the top, almost always causing tangle. So you get your cork in, you make your cast, not too much helicoptering, you can throw it as far as you want. That time we had zero revol revolutions in the air, it was perfect. Close your bail, your rod is pointed your cork, your line is tight, your rod tips down to the water, break your wrist. Wind your slack, break your wrist. You can do it a couple times, you can, you can work that as hard as you want or as soft as you want, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Rod tip down, pop that cork. If you think about that sound, it mimics that surface action of a mullet, a pogey, or any other large bait fish. That clack, that pop, that bloop is money everywhere you go. When you have your cork out, deployed your cork, and you want to know how often to pop it, okay, there is, there is the chance that you could overwork the cork. So personally, we like to give it a couple good pops and let it pause. The pause gives you a chance for your bait to get vertical and just be suspended and letting fish look for it couple more pops, one, two, one, two, three, however, but you have to have that pause. So what the biggest mistake people do when they retrieve this cork, they wind it in like a plug. That's not how the cork is designed to work. It's designed to sit, pop a couple times, let it sit. Pop it a couple times. If you get a fish comes up and he bites it and he misses it and he's excited, man, you can pop it like crazy. You can do some different variations, but day in, day out, the biggest mistake people make, like I just said, winding the cork in. It is not a lure, folks. It is an attractor. So you want it to work the best for you. And if you can keep your line tight and with that abrupt wrist break, you'll find that you can keep the cork in a certain area and you're not pulling it to you too fast. Like if you're trying to fish around the piling, or if you're in a, you see a fish and he's by some structure, or if he's out there and he busts on a bait, the last thing you want to do is pull that away from the bite zone. So once again, you make the cast, you're in the water, line's tight, abrupt, break that wrist. That cork will stay in the bite zone. For any further questions, comments, or ideas on how to work the magic pop and cork, you can always reach out to Captain Mark, FloridaKeysFunFishing.com. You can always find us on Salt Strong, and I believe there will be a link attached at the end of this video.